We bring you now live to Oregon for this highly anticipated press conference regarding the recent matchup between Oklahoma and Oregon. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's press conference. As you know, we're here to talk about the onside kick in the Oklahoma-Oregon game that has attracted a lot of controversialism. Now, this was undoubtedly an important call in the game. Everyone can agree that had Oklahoma come up with the ball, the game would have had an entirely different result, which is why our crack squad of video analytical experts have gone to great lengths to examinate the footage. Let's start with Exhibit A. As you can clearly see from this angle, the Oregon players here and here are without a doubt celebrating. Conclusive? I would say so. They must obviously have the ball. And as if that were not enough evidence, you can also see that these fans are celebrating. Now ask yourself, why would these people celebrate if the ball was in the possession of the opposing team? Conclusive. Are we to believe that some thousands upon thousands of fans and players all conspired together to celebrate at exactly the same time? Preposterous. Uh, uh, question. Yes, you to my left. Actually, wouldn't I be on your right? Your question, please. Yes, shouldn't we be more concerned with what actually happened in the play, like the ball being tipped before the 10 yard mark? Well, let's take a look at that. In this very non-deniable evidence, you can clearly see that the ball changes direct injury here, and that this Oklahoma player touches the ball first. He then proceeds to fall down from the impact of said ball, most likely due to the fact that he is indeed the first one to come into contact with it, ergo creating opportunity for Oregon to recover the ball. Conclusive. Yes, you in the green shirt. Uh, who, me? Uh, yes, I'm looking right at you. But this is a white shirt. Is there a question here? Uh, yes, D doesn't that footage show the Oregon player touch the ball first, and then interfere with the Oklahoma receiver? And all within 10 yards? Please, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. No, I I'm calm. I'm, I'm sir, just... I say again, calm down, or I will have no choice but to have you removed from the conference. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly calm. I'm, I'm just trying to ask a question. That's enough, sir. We're going to move along. Security, get him out of here. Moving to possession. Taking all the previous factors into account, which we can all now agree are exceptionally, extremely true, we know that the ball was live and that the question of possession comes down to the team that did recover aforementioned ball. Exhibit X. This videological evidence does so solemnly, conclusively declare that the player who did recover the football, thus claiming possession of said ball and deciding the outcome of the game, was indeed a player for the Oregon Ducks. Conclude of the Usif. And that concludes our conference. Uh, no, no more questions, please. No, no more, no more questions. Thank you. And there you have it. The final word on the controversial onside kick call that costs Oklahoma the win in their 34-33 loss to the Oregon Ducks last Saturday. And in other news, later tonight we'll have...